subscribe for raw opinions, guys. So Eddie the Hitman Hearn has said that if Tyson Fury loses against Bomb Squad, there's no point in having Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Now, I feel two ways about this. I kind of see why he wouldn't bother to make AJ versus Tyson Fury because basically... What people, what excites boxing fans for Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua is the fact that Tyson Fury was the former unified heavyweight champion of the world and he's undefeated. So the winner of this fight will be, cons- you know, whoever wins this fight, the, especially the British boxing fans will be like, okay, this guy's the true heavyweight champion. Because right now there, there's some Fury fans saying Fury's still the legit heavyweight unified champion of the world. But then there's some AJ fans saying, no, actually, AJ is the true legit heavyweight champion of the world. So that's why they want to fight. So there could be no doubt. And and whoever wins, then they could be like, for sure, all the British fans, all the British boxing fans could be like, for sure, okay, this guy is the best British heavyweight. That's 100% for sure now because he won. But let's say he loses to Deontay Wilder. Now that's kind of, that's going to leave kind of a dent, right? Because obviously he, he doesn't have, you know, Fury doesn't have that undefeated record anymore. And it's not going to be as big, at least I would imagine, as it would be if he was undefeated or going into the fight undefeated. Another thing that will take this thing away from it is if, let's say, Fury gets knocked out by Deontay Wilder. You know what would happen if he fights Anthony Joshua next? And let's say Anthony Joshua beats him. Anthony Joshua will get absolutely no credit. Because... Uh, Deontay Wilder fanboys will say, oh, Deontay Wilder destroyed uh, Fury. This is why it was easy for Anthony Joshua to beat Fury. Because that's what boxing fans do. Whenever a guy who's undefeated loses for the first time, the next time he loses, they they don't give that guy any credit because they say that he wasn't the same. (laughs) Do you remember when Kell Brook lost to Errol Spence Jr.? Nobody gave Errol Spence Jr. credit. Nobody. The majority of boxing fans were saying that the only reason Errol Spence Jr. beat Kell Brook was because he was damaged goods. He was damaged goods because Gennady Golovkin beat him. It would be the same scenario with uh, AJ versus Deontay Wilder. I mean, AJ versus Tyson Fury. If Tyson Fury loses to Deontay Wilder and then he fights uh, Anthony Joshua and loses against him, people would just say, oh, especially Deontay Wilder fans, they would just say, oh, uh, well, you know, He's damaged goods. AJ didn't be a prime uh, Fury. He'd be a guy who w- took a hellacious beating against Deontay Wilder. So, they wouldn't give AJ credit. So, but to be honest, personally, I would want to see that fight happen. Just because even if he does lose against Wilder, people would always doubt, at, at least British boxer fans would always doubt AJ and say he never fought you know, Tyson Fury. They'll, they'll say he'll never fight him. He never fought him. So, and, and, and because of that, they'll believe they'll still be doubt as to who's the better fighter. And they'll still be doubting AJ. Kind of like when Lennox Lewis, if Lennox Lewis never fought Mike Tyson, people would always be saying that Mike Tyson is better than Lennox Lewis. Although I thought he fought a, a you know, past his version of Mike Tyson still, he fought him. So he was able to, to show that he was better than Mike Tyson, right? The same thing would be if if, if uh, Joshua versus Tyson Fury never fight. People, even if Tyson, even if uh, Anthony Joshua retires undefeated, there will be some uh, Fury fans saying he never fought Fury. Therefore, we don't know if he would have beaten Fury. So that's why I would want them to fight, even if Fury loses, just for that fact. Because I don't want I don't want doubts. I don't like doubts. I don't like people thinking this guy could have beaten him, but he never fought him. Like Mayweather, Mayweather could have fought several welterweights, but he avoided a lot of welterweights. And to, to this day, you got Mayweather fanboys saying that he could have beat this guy, although they never fought. But the thing is, homie, how would you know that they never fought? That's why I would have liked it if Mayweather would have fought certain guys at, at welterweight. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. I'm out.